Hi, my name is Dr. Adil Misiri. I have a PhD in machine learning, artificial intelligence, and blockchain. I am a serial entrepreneur with three successful exits. Uh, and uh, currently, I have uh, half a dozen startups, as well as I publish papers uh, every year. And I have uh, graduated about a dozen students in the field. So today, I would like to speak uh, with you about artificial intelligence. I just came back from Davos, uh, and uh, the big part of the World Economic Forum was focused on AI, the potential, the threat, and, and many other questions regarding those. Um, one aspect in particular is how do we create guardrails for uh, AI as it grows and becomes a big part of our society. Uh, but the idea that I'm trying to look at or the, uh, the aspect of AI that I'm trying to look at is how do you discern value? So we all have witnessed the rise of AI. We've seen how it started with very simple tasks, but then it uh, kept growing and growing into different aspects of our lives. But that has some issues with them. So there are things that are not going quite right. What are those? For example, lack of value verification. How do you know that it uh, that AI is actually generating value for you? Or the project claiming that they are generating value through AI, you don't know. Then there are also ethical uh, concerns. Uh, the uh, Most of AI algorithms are opaque, meaning that you don't know how the decision has been taken within the AI itself. So the question of what were you thinking, it's uh, very hard to ask of an AI to understand the AI's thought process. Then there are fraudulent um, practices that are uh, that prevails. And then uh, we don't have an incentive. So there's an incentive gap in the AI world trying to uh, get uh, AI projects and get uh, different practitioners to use AI for uh, the good. So adding to that things like a fragmented uh, ecosystem, which means that uh, you have different AIs done by different companies, each one with a different philosophy, so you don't know what exists in one silo versus the other silo. Uh, which constitutes a problem if you think of our current interconnected world. It's also an opaque financial reporting system. So you don't know uh, what's going on underneath that AI project. You don't know if it is uh, actually producing things that they should be producing or not. That compelled me to start thinking more and more about how do we come up with the AI uh, value? Can we create a protocol that can actually uh, help us to discern that or not? So what would be the first step? The first step is that protocol should allow us of discovering uh, different AI companies and different AI projects, meaning it's akin to a one-stop shop where you can actually go and see uh, the different aspects. If you are looking for a sentiment analysis, if you are looking for an LLM, and so forth. Then we should be able of verifying that this AI actually works. And by uh, verifying, I am talking about two aspects of the AI as we sh shall see later. One would be the financial part, the other one would be the actual algorithmic part. Does it do what it says that it's actually doing or not? Then finally, the certification. So we need to have some sort of a body or a process that allows us to certify those AI uh, projects out there. And all of this requires that we could create some sort of an incentive on the other side that would, uh, would help uh, different projects to comply with those uh, regulations. So in my mind, I imagine the AI VP uh, protocol to be something like what you see in front of you. It has two different uh, uh, phases of the certification verification aspects. One would be the technical side, so uh, you and the other one would be the financial side. From a technical side, you are able of verifying the APIs uh, on the system 
as well as certifying the actual algorithms underneath it. From a financial point of view, you are able of uh, self-reporting or verifying the revenue or getting a full-fledged audit process going on. Those two different sides allows you to now verify and certify the, uh, the value that is being delivered by that AI project. Once we do that, we can record that on a blockchain, hence uh, enabling us of creating an AI value marketplace where you can come in, discover the AIs, engage with AI services, and transact on AI values. So how would a potential token economic work in such a system? So uh, in such a system, what I would suggest happening is that once an AI project registers, as you can see, that AI project would either self-report the uh, transaction or uh, revenue report the transaction. In both cases, a 5% fee would be sent to the protocol. The protocol would then reward that uh, project with 4.5% in the protocol token. Uh, that means that the protocol will keep 0.5% per, uh, for the protocol treasury. And at the same time, it will swap 4.5% uh, into AIVP using the current existing pools. So why is it constructed that way? It's constructed that way so that it allows the, uh, the AI projects of having some speed bump something against uh, spam and uh, a financial cost for the reporting of their value, which is the half a percent. And at the same time, provides the uh, AI projects with uh, a skin in the game for the entire uh, projects, because the more AI projects that exist in, uh, uh, and work on top of the AI VP, the more that they share a common value and the more that they will get incentivized with AI uh, token in it. So at the end to come across is that we should create a system that can incentivize and verify the AI projects so that no AI project can come in and say like, hey, we can deliver X, Y, Z. Well, you are not verified, you can claim that or a project that comes in and say like, hey, we can uh, do uh, a lot of value for you. Show me those on the uh, blockchain trans transactions. So this immutability and uh, uh, incentivization certification aspects of the system will allow us to create a better world where AI projects can be discovered, can operate together, and can be verified with a proven track record. Thank you very much for listening to me.